Where... where did she go? Yukari-chan, I don't think looking around here any further is going to do any good. But... I can feel it. Mika-chan is still here somewhere. But we're not going to be able to find her like this. So, what are you saying we should do then? She's here, but we can't find her. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, Yukari-chan, Mika-chan disappeared into the sky, right? Yes, she did. You saw it too, didn't you? That's why... I think we should look into who took her away before we try to find her. What are you saying? Who took her? The person who was writing to her on the desk and summoned her here. You mean SH? Yes, Himegami Sakura-san. But she's dead. But I don't think what was written on that desk was a joke. I mean, I don't think anyone would look up an incident that old and use their name, you know? Plus, I really don't think she's a bad person at all. That's why, if we can figure out why she summoned Mika-chan to this shrine, then... But how are we going to do that? Yeah. The only thing connecting them is the library, right? You're saying we should look there? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Um, let's see. Hey, Chisato. Hey, Chisato, we're here, but what do you intend to look for? This school's list of graduated students should be here, right? Maybe we can find a clue in there. I see. Himegami Sakura was a student here, yeah? The list of graduated students. Chisato, do you know where it is? Sorry, I don't. Well then, we'll just have to look for it. Um, 50 years of Hinashiro High School. These books here look like they have to do with our school. Then, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Ten nights of dreams, the moon over the mountain, the wind rises. There are new books here. These are Japanese literature. Let's try somewhere else. Here we go. The graduated students list. Showa 38. Here we go. Is she there? Hang on. Himegami. Himegami. Here she is. Class 3D. There's a special box around it. Because she died before graduation. Ah. The incident on the mountain happened when she was in the second grade, huh? Yukari-chan, I wonder if we can dig up some more information about what happened there. I mean, it happened over 30 years ago. There aren't any newspapers here from then either. I'm pretty sure there are pocket-sized editions of the newspapers here. Pocket-sized? The book that shrinks down the main pages of each of the newspapers for the year. I think we have that here. Alright, well, let's look for it then.
Here we go. My Asa Shimbun Pocket Sized Edition. Do they have Showa 38? 38, 38. Here we go. Here it is. Female high school student dead from cliff fall. Yesterday, in the early hours of dawn, the dead body of second year Hinashiro high school student Himegami Sakura-san, 17, was found in the Katashiro Mountains. As she was found at the bottom of a cliff, it's believed that she slipped and fell over. So they call that Katashiro Mountain. This doesn't tell us anything. I wonder if her accident really was just an accident. I mean, she wrote on the desk, I'm going today, didn't she? What did that mean? Yeah. Maybe it was a final message. There has to be something here about it. Let's keep looking. Um, I have various books here. Which do you want? Bring me the phenomenon of suicide. I really don't think it was an accident. Show me the phenomenon of suicide. Um, death by blood loss, death by drugs, hanging. This isn't a very pleasant book, is it? Here we go. Death by jumping. You could say that jumping from a high place is a rather modern method of suicide. The special situation of high locations tend to invite suicidal thoughts in people, as well as directly linking to the image of death. People who stand upon high places suddenly find themselves moving to jump. What is this? It's a bit hard to understand, but is it saying that people want to jump when they go to high places? No, it's saying that people jump impulsively. But that's not the case with Sakura-san. I'm going today. Yeah. Yukari-chan, did Sakura-san really kill herself? Why? She left a suicide note, didn't she? That cliff. It's not that high, right? If you want to make sure that you die, it's a little too low for that. Hmm. I thought that what Sakura-san wrote was really sad. Sad? Yeah. I mean, doesn't it seem like she just gave up and accepted her fate? That's why, if she summoned Mika-chan, then maybe someone summoned her. Yeah. But more importantly, why did Mika disappear? Hey Chisato, what I really want to know is why Mika disappeared like that though. Is it really that simple for someone to just disappear? Like, right in front of someone? That, I don't know. But, I think when someone disappears like that, there's a reason that they're taken away. A reason? Yeah, like running into something that isn't of this world, or breaking some sort of taboo. Like a curse? Yeah. Hey. Maybe we should be looking into that rather than Himegami Sakura. That's true. I'll go find some books. Yukari-chan, you write down anything that might seem useful from the book you have there. Alright. Um, I have a few books here. Which do you want? I want to see Mysterious Disappearances. Hmm, bring me Mysterious Disappearances. Feels like that would be the most useful. Alright, here you are. A folk tale told long ago, like the story of Rip Van Winkle, there exist real cases where people and animals have suddenly disappeared. The incident on the Mary Celeste in 1892 is an apt example of this. The ship was found adrift in the Azores Sea with not a single person left on board. This is not the only unexplainable disappearance case either, and there are plenty more cases that cannot be explained. Events that can't be explained. Does that mean like in Himegami Sakura's case? 
I wonder. I mean, she did die quite a while ago. It might be a little different to what it says there. So then, she really is a ghost. Yeah, but I wonder. I definitely sensed her then, but I didn't sense anything evil. You didn't sense anything evil. So then why did it take me why did she take Mika away? Yukari chan, it's not just evil intentions that can threaten people. I think it was just as she wrote on the disc. Sakura-san really just wanted to see Mika-chan, and that desire was too strong. Yukari-chan, have you ever heard of Rip Van Winkle? Eh? That thing written in the book? Never heard of it. It's a story about a man who disappeared for several decades in the mountains. Don't you think it's really similar to what's happening now? Hey, Yukari-chan, maybe we should look into folk tales a little more. I'm pretty sure there was a book around here called The Science of Folk Tales Transmission. The Science of Folk Tales Transmission, huh? Um, bring me that one. All right, I'll go get it. This looks like a rather specialized book. Well, it is about folklore. It's believed the tale of Rip Van Winkle, who entered the mountains and then encountered tiny people, after which 20 years passed, was based on a German tale. It roughly corresponds with the Japanese tale, Urashima Taro. These types of stories that involve traveling to and returning from another world seem to exist all over. There is also an interesting tale similar to this legend that's told in the Kanto area, about Musashino Castle. It's thought that the folk tale of Musashino Castle was influenced by their traditional view of life and death. There was a folk tale about people disappearing in Musashino? That's what it says. Which means... We should look more into the folk tales from around here. I think there was a book titled Musashino Tama Folk Tales, right? Musashino Tama Folk Tales. Sounds good. Uh, can you bring me that one? Musashino Tama Folk Tales, right? Disappearing people, disappearing people. Yukari-chan, here. The traveler who disappeared in the river. It's a story my grandfather often told. One day, a traveler who stopped by this village, left to follow the river leading to the Odaidi River upstream. But several years passed and he didn't return. And it wasn't only that traveller. People claimed that several others had also disappeared whilst travelling up that river. Odaidi River. Have you ever heard of that before? No. But look, there's a note here. Odaidi River is local slang referring to a branch of the T River. Legends like this one claim that travellers who follow the river upstream will disappear into an unknown world. According to numerous stories, these travellers reach the other side. Hey, Yukari-chan, maybe this has something to do with what happened to Mika-chan. It does seem to be the same type of disappearance. We should probably look into it more. Or Daini River. Huh. Chisato, can you get me a related book? All right, I'll go check. Uh, Yukari-chan, which book? History of Hinashiro District. Bring me History of Hinashiro District. That book seems suspect. It's pretty old, huh? Um, uh, look here, there's an old map. So there is. Murayama Castle. Does that mean the castle remains past Sun Mall? I think so. If so, then... This is the mountain behind our school? There's a shrine mark on it. This has to be that shrine, right? Hinashiro Shrine. But the character for Shiro is different. The Shido character is usually the character for castle, right? Now that you mention it, 
The city name is written the same way too. Maybe this is how they wrote it in the past. Huh? What's this line? Is this Odiety River? So a river used to flow through here, huh? On that note, didn't our social studies teacher say something about that when we were in elementary school? Long ago, there used to be a river in this town, but now that river flows underground. Underground? Yeah, she said it was an underdrain. So that there's no flooding, they filled in the top of the river and then made it into an underground sewer. Hmm. Yukari-chan, does it say anything about Odaili River? Um, hang on. Odaili River. Here we go. Odaili River Basin. In this area, it is thought that the river gained a mystical meaning because of the practice of Hinanagashi that has long taken place here. Hinanagashi, due to its ritualistic nature and strong connection to the other side, is likely to have been the groundwork for these stories. Hinanagashi. What's that? I've never heard of it before. Maybe a ritual or something to do with Ohina-sama. There's a reference here. West Tokyo Festivals. Maybe we'll understand more if we check that one out. West Tokyo Festivals. Um, here it is. It has something about Hinanagashi. Before the war, you could see the custom of Hinanagashi in one particular area of Musashino. This was especially common around the Ogawa River, which locals called Odaidi River. It said the name Hinashiro, given to the area downriver, came from Hina substitutes that floated down and arrived there. This custom ended after the war, but there are still a lot of elderly people who fondly remember the ritual. So that's how Hinashiro got its name. Yeah. Um, Yukari-chan, which book do you want? Cultural History of Hina. Um, could you get Cultural History of Hina for me? Uh, this one. Here. It has something about Hina Nagashi. Hina Nagashi is, in general, a ritual that was adapted from China to cleanse evil. This variant was called Hinanagashi, and established itself here as a ritual. However, it fell out of use as the river became more polluted. Even in Tokyo, in the Tea River tributaries in Mushashino, this custom you could see before the war stopped taking place around Showa 30 as the river got more polluted. The area around Tea River, they mean Odaili River. So, they took part in Hinanagashi here too, huh? My mother never told me anything about this, so maybe they'd already stopped by the time they filled the river in. Hmm. Chisato, do you know where this Odaidi River is? I don't. Shall we check a map? Yeah, please. Alright, hang on. Um, Yukari-chan, which book do you want? Atlas Map, Musashino Tama. Grab Atlas Map. Odaili River flowed somewhere around here, so if we check the map, we should be able to find out where. Yeah, hang on a sec. I don't see anything that looks like a river. It's probably not on here because it's underground now. Eh? Then that means we won't be able to find it. Maybe we'll find some trace of it. Yeah. Yukari-chan, here. Behind our school. That's a river. Ah, that's the rear sewer, isn't it? But it's coming out of the mountain. It's just a coincidence. There's no way they do Hinanagashi in such a dirty river. I wonder. What's the next book? Industry Listings, Tokyo Area. Industry Listings, Tokyo Area, please. Seems like that would have a lot of maps. The primary industry engagement rate in the Tokyo area has been decreasing year by year. My bad. 
This is way off the mark. No worries, let's grab the next book. Musashino Natural Features is the only one left. It says it was written by the Musashino District Research Association. This editor is a super famous historian. Those who go upriver will never again return. They will find themselves led to another world. This is one of the many folktales spoken of about the Odaili River in the Hinoshiro region. It's believed this legend of the Hina Nagashi ritual is a typical story of travelling to another world. The Hina Nagashi ritual is held upstream of the Odaili River and the Hina substitutes float downstream before arriving here. The paper dolls that are sent downriver are consoled so that the evil they bring with them may be appeased. A small shrine was built in the mountains beside the river. That shrine is Hinashiro Shrine, now located behind Hinoshiro High School. Behind Hinashiro High School. Yukari-chan, give me that map from before. I yeah. So, this river really is Odaidi River. But there's no way it could be such a filthy river. But there's no mistake. Look at this map in the history book. If that shrine is Hinashiro Shrine, then this has to be the river. But... Hey, Yukari-chan, I wonder what will happen if we follow this river upstream. What's this all of a sudden? I mean, it's written in all these books. Look, it's written right here. Those who go upriver will never again return. They will find themselves led to another world. Another world. I think it means a world different to this one, like where Sakura-san is now. Hang on. Yukari-chan, I felt something on the mountain. Mika-chan was definitely there, but it was a different place to this world. To get there, we need to go up Odaidi River. Yukari-chan, let's try it. We might be able to reach Mika-chan that way. But you mean... Go up that filthy river. Even if it's filthy, it's still Odaidi River. That's the only option left. Fine, let's go. This is Odaili River. It's the river beneath the manhole. So this used to flow above ground, huh? Yeah, but the power of this river hasn't weakened. It's really strong up there. So Mika's on the other side of this. I can't say for certain, but I think this leads to where she is. Let's go. Where am I? How do you know my name? Who are you? Sakura. Himegami Sakura. Himegami Sakura. Ah, SH. So we finally meet. <laughs> I visited the rear mountain, but. <laughs> yeah, 
You said you wanted to meet me. No, but why? I stopped writing to SH Chan, I mean, you, on the desk. I feel like I'd grown scared of you, but I don't really remember now. Looks like I came to see you. I'm not as good of a person as you think I am. Really? Uh, I wonder if I wanted to meet you too. How far does this river go? Yukari-chan, look, a light. Have we finally found the exit? Let's go. It connects to here. This is the rear mountain, right? Yeah. Looks like we arrived somewhere strange. What's wrong? Chisato? What? What is it? I think I heard someone crying just now. I wonder. Hang on. I don't hear anything. Maybe I imagined it. Whatever, let's keep going. Those lights, that's the station, isn't it? Which means this really is the rear mountain. Yeah, it really is. But this place is different to over there. That town is different. Different? I can't explain it well. It's like they're parallel to each other. You know how in the third dimension, there are places where parallel lines look like a single line, right? Well, this is just like that. We can see everything over there, but it's not the same place as here. They, they absolutely don't intersect. So then, how were we able to come here? Yeah. Here's what I think. Even if those two lines don't meet, there's another separate third line in addition to them. And to reach that, you have to follow a series of steps or possess a really strong desire. It would be rare to find your way here if you were just going about your life normally. Hey, Yukari-chan, do you really think we can bring Mika-chan back? Why do you say that? Her desires are so strong. She might steal Mika-chan away from us. Honestly, I don't know if we're attached strongly enough to her to bring her back. For sure, I've been more concerned about her since the new school term started, but it's not like junior high anymore. If we don't see our friends for a while, then we'll probably start to forget about them. I see. Anyway, I intend to do whatever I can. I don't want any regrets. Yukari-chan, let's do our best. Yeah, I'll do what I can. First things first, we need to find either Mika or Himegami Sakura. Yeah. 
Let's go. What's wrong? Hey, Yukari-chan. Didn't we pass through here before? Eh? Did we? Maybe we went the wrong way. How could we go the wrong way? We've been walking in a straight line the whole time. Yeah, that's true. We can't stay here the whole time. Let's go. Hey, Chisato, was this always here? No. Looks like we're not going to be able to get back to where we started, huh? Yeah. Someone's here. Um, sorry for coming in here without permission. Um... He's not listening. It's not that. I think he can't hear us. What do you mean? He's really focused. It's like he can't stop playing. Try talking to him. Um... I'm sorry, but we... Hey, there's no point to this. That's not true. Try asking him something else. Chisato, you try. Chisato, you try. Doesn't look like I'm getting through to him. Okay. Um, hello? Excuse me, um, I... He's not listening to you either. I'm sorry. We're looking for our friend. Um, we came here to find our friend. Have you seen her? She has long brown hair and she looks cute, but she's actually quite rude. Yukari-chan. Well, it's true. Where is this place? Um, excuse me, where is this place? It seems we're lost. Is this Katashiro Mountain? 
It's no good. He's not listening at all. No, you should try talking to him again. Let's go. There's no point hanging around here. He's not listening to us at all. Okay. Let's go. What's wrong? Someone's watching us. Stop that. Why? Why are we back here again? Seems like we need someone's permission if we want to get past here. Permission? Because we weren't invited here. We're not going to be able to proceed until someone acknowledges us. And who is that supposed to be? It's not like Himegami Sakura is going to do it for us. There's one more person here. Where? You saw, right? Over there. But that person wasn't listening to us at all. That's not true. I think he knows something. Does this guy really have anything to do with it? Maybe. He's still not responding to us at all. Why? I don't know, but it's gotta be him. It has nothing to do with him. You're thinking too much. Let's go. Yukari-chan, wait. There's just one thing I want to ask him, okay? Just one thing. Um, do you know Himegami Sakura by any chance? Please, if you know anything about her, please tell us. Our friend is with her. Where is she? No, you don't have to tell us that. If you're protecting her, then all you need to do is let us try to find her. We can't just leave Mika-chan here. Please. Thank you. Hey, Chisato, what's going on? I don't understand any of this. Yukari-chan, let's go. We should be able to make our way through now. Uh, hang on. Chisato, please. I have no idea what's going on. That man, he's protecting this forest. Protecting it? He's protecting and consoling all of the sad spirits that gather here. Then he sends them on to the next place. The next place? Yeah, that's where Mika-chan should be too. Yukari-chan, let's go, quickly. I don't really understand what's going on, but 
At any rate, we should move, yeah? Yes. Are we through? I don't know. Is that an owl? I've never seen a real one before. Ah, Yukari-chan, let's follow it. Eh, hang on. Over there. This is... Mika-chan. Hinashiro, Hinashiro? That's the name of our high school, right? Hmm. I thought you looked like something the first time I saw you. It was a Japanese doll. You're a Japanese beauty with long straight hair, like you're pure blooded. Sakura-chan? Are you a Japanese doll? Hmm? I am too. So, 
Where are we? I wonder. It's so quiet and clean, just like a graveyard. Where on earth are we? It was already pretty dark by the time we left school, right? So why is it so bright here? I don't know, but I think we're still on the rear mountain. Although, it's a little different to the mountain we can see from school. Hmm... Chisato? What is this? Why are these here? Hey, Chisato, why are there so many dolls here? It's the Hinashiro ritual. Eh? It was in that book in the library, right? The dolls that act as substitutes and get swept down river. But do they really use such normal dolls as these for it? It looks like the dolls here weren't just the ones that were washed away, but they all bear the same sadness. Sadness? Yukari-chan, let's go. There's no way we can console the dolls here. They possess incredibly strong wills and there's nothing we can do to help them. I think they're trying to say that they want to stay together forever. Yeah, let's quickly get out of here. I see. Sorry. It's okay. Let's go. Yeah. I'm sorry. That place is great. It's members only, so there are never any people in the wrong place. The DJ thinks of everyone and chooses songs accordingly, so if you want to dance, you absolutely have to go there. It would be nice if you could come too, Sakura-chan. My senpais can show you around as well. Senpai. Mika-chan. Come to think of it, I was supposed to return home with her today. Sakura-chan, how long have I been here? I feel like I came here without telling Yukari anything. If I don't let her know, she'll get angry. She's always calcium deficient because she only eats out. So, But... This looks just like the shrine on the mountain behind school. They just look similar, I mean, aren't they all made the same way? Plus, this one is old and falling apart. No, this one is exactly the same. At the very least, they deify the same thing, I think. Hey, Yukari-chan, do you want to check inside? Let's check it out. Yeah. We don't know if it might be related to all this. Let's check it out. Okay. It's cold in here. But it's rather tranquil, isn't it? I wonder why this shrine is here. I don't know. 
Looks like Mika isn't here after all. Yukari-chan, over there. What? This book. This... 1963, Himegami Sakura. This is... Himegami's? Probably. Hey, Yukari-chan, shall we read it? It might have something about why she brought Mika-chan here. Let's check it out. Yeah, and we don't know anything about Himegami either. Yeah. あれからもう no idea. Is this that thing from a while back about the warrior from a previous life? If so, I'll pass. That type of thinking is creepy. ずっと昔にこの川に投げ込まれた女の子の話。最初の少女は自分以外の誰かの病を癒すための生贄として、この川に捧げられたという。彼女には何の咎もないのに。彼女が書士だったという理由だけで。泣いた山り続ける彼女を川に投げ入れ、その代償としてもう一人の少女は幸福を得たという。それはどんな意味のあるものだったのだろう。私にはわからない。彼女に幸福になる権利はなかったの。彼女が何をしたというの彼女が生きているということはもう一人の少女が生き残ることほど意味がなかったというのそんなの信じたくないやがてその少女の悲しみは川を その家に生まれた娘は生まれながらの霊力を持って日なしろの女の子たちの悲しみを慰め、お代理側の災いを防ぐためにその時が来たら自らの命を捧げなくてはならない。私今でも覚えてる。ミカちゃんと。非常通信を始めたあの夏夕暮れ遅く図書室の窓から裏山を見ているときにね確かに聞いたのたくさんの女の子が私を呼んでいる声をbut that i mean i thought hinashiro meant washing the dolls away down the river the Hinashiro custom. It might be that it changed to become a ritual sacrifice over time. Instead of the dolls they used long ago, they changed it to real people. But Odaini River has been filled in now, so there's no need for it. 
Even if that's the case, it doesn't mean the girl's sadness has been buried too. And that sadness continues to call out for new maidens, one after the other. And so the sad feelings continue to pile up. And those feelings summoned Mika-chan here. No way. Chisato, what's wrong? Yukari-chan, look! Outside the window. Outside the window? Mika, why is she out there? They're together. Himegami, Sakura. Mika-chan. Mika, what are you doing? Mika? Mika! Mika! Senpai? Mika-chan. Sakura-chan, I'm sorry. I have to go back. I heard Yukari calling me just now. Doste. Eh? Doste no? Mika -chan ga iru beki wa koko da yo. What do you mean? Watashi. Watashi tachi. Mika -chan to hanareta kunai. Ikanai de. But still... Can she not hear us? Should we go outside? No, Yukari-chan, remember. This shrine is next to the water, right? The scenery outside was nothing like this. So this is... This shrine and that forest are connected. But if she can't hear me, then how are we supposed to... Eh? That's not it at all. But, you know, they're gonna get mad at me. But, why me? Can she hear us? Yeah, she's somewhere different to here, but she's closer than we think. The distance we can see from the window here isn't the real distance. We should be able to reach her if necessary. Yukari-chan, please. We've come this far. We can't give up yet. But I'm not sure I can reach her. Don't say that. You're the one person she'll be able to hear. But it might not work. Be confident. Believe in yourself, please. If you don't believe you can, then you won't reach her. All right, I'll believe. All right. I'm the only one who can bring her back. I just need to believe that, right? Yeah. It'll be okay. She can't go against my word. It's okay. It'll be okay. Yukari-chan, you can do it. Mika, that girl's dangerous. Mika, that girl isn't normal. She's dangerous. Senpai, what are you saying? Don't be so rude. She's right here, you know. Hey, Sakura-chan. 
Sakura-chan. Crap. She doesn't believe me. No, it'll be okay. Sakura-chan is the one person who knows most of all that what you're saying is true. Looks like she's unable to tell Mika-chan that you're lying. Yukari-chan, tell Mika-chan a little more about Sakura-san. Although, I think this might be painful for her to hear. All right. You can't save her. Mika, listen carefully. She's already dead. Yukari-chan, that's a bit much. Stop it, senpai. I have no idea what you're on about. Sakura-chan is right here, isn't she? She always replied to me on the desk as well, and I can tell from talking to her that she's much nicer than kids nowadays. She's not from now. Mika, you being there might make that girl happy, but it won't solve anything. Yukari-chan, let me speak. Hey, Himegami, you know it too, right? Everything's fine now. She doesn't think too deeply about things, so you can probably continue to fool her for a little while longer. But are you really okay with that? In the end, what you're doing now is the same reason why you're there too. Stop it! Stop it! Stop saying such mean things. Sakura-chan, she's lying, right? I don't believe for a second that you're dead. Senpai, you're just jealous that I'm hanging out with someone else now. Sakura-chan, tell me she's lying. Sakura-chan! Who will you pick, Mika? Mika, this is it. You have to decide. Is she more important to you? Or me? Who is it? You have to pick. I... I can't pick. I mean... Senpai, you're so mean. Eh? ごめんね。私自分のことしか考えてなかった。私がこんな目にあって、こんなに寂しいのに何も知らないミカちゃんが寂しくならないわけないのに。あなたの先輩が言ってること本当だよ。I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Why? I want to stay. With both you and Yukari-senpai. It's easy, Sakura-chan. Just return with us. Hey, Sakura-chan. What do you mean? Sakura-chan, let's go. Let's go back together. Yeah? Sakura-chan? Mika-chan, 
ミカちゃんみたいに私のこと嫌いになった Why why would you ask me that? I came here to see you. I came here to see you, Sakura chan. I I came all this way just to see you. There's no way I could hate you. I mean, you're so kind. That's not true. I didn't do anything. Of course, I will. I could never forget you. I could never. Sakura chan? What happened? What's going on? I don't know, but their hearts are racing. It's not sadness. What's happening? Mika? Mika? Yukari chan, don't go any closer. Mika! Goodbye. Hey, Chisato. Don't you think Mika has been acting strange since we got back? Eh? I don't remember much of what happened that night, but ever since then she's been oddly quiet. Like she's deep in thought about something, don't you think? I guess. But I saw her on the way home from club yesterday and she was the same as ever. She said she had some good info, so to keep tonight free. What? So she's back to normal then? She's like a lizard. That's her charm point, isn't it? I wonder if we should baby her like that. Senpai, that blue face of yours is as charming as ever. What is it today? You picked up another random rumor again, didn't you? It's not random. My information is always the freshest. What's with that fed up face? I'm impressed with your ability to recover. Isn't that to be expected? We are young after all. No point crying when you look back at something that's already over. Huh? Yeah. Ah, Senpai, were you perhaps worried about me? Don't get so cocky. Chisato, let's go. Eh? Uh, yeah. Hey,、uh, hang on. You're not being honest. さよなら。